In this video, I'm going to talk about cholesterol and steroids from the perspective of a chemist. A steroid is a type of molecule. It has a characteristic structure of four rings that are stuck together or fused together. Three of them are six-membered rings, and one of them is a five-membered ring. All steroids have this same general structure with some other stuff added to the atoms in the ring. Cholesterol is a molecule that is used in the body to synthesize steroids. This is the cholesterol molecule. You can see that it has that characteristic four fused ring structure. And so our body can take this cholesterol molecule, dissect it, and use it to synthesize steroids that our body needs. Cholesterol in our body is primarily synthesized in the liver, although some of it is also consumed in our diet. Most people don't realize that our body synthesizes the majority of our cholesterol, and typically only about 25% of the cholesterol in our body actually comes from our diet. Cholesterol in our body can be found in our blood and in our tissues. If we have an excess of cholesterol in our bloodstream, this could lead to clogged arteries, heart attack, and stroke. Some of this excessive cholesterol problem could come from our diet, but in a lot of situations, it's just a biological thing that a person's body is just prone to synthesizing an excess amount of cholesterol. A lipoprotein is a substance that transports cholesterol through our body. This is an image of lipoprotein. It has a single layer a lipid membrane. You can see that the lipid membrane is made up of phospholipids. There are cholesterol molecules that are embedded inside of the, the um, cell wall here. These are referred to as free cholesterols because they're not attached to anything. The inside of the lipoprotein is also full of cholesterols. They're being represented by this yellow color here. But these cholesterol molecules are attached to triglycerides, which are shown here in green spheres. So these are not f considered to be free because they're attached. There are two different types of lipoproteins. One is called LDL, which stands for low density lipoprotein, and the other is called HDL, which stands for high density lipoprotein. And in the next couple of slides, I'm gonna talk a bit about the difference between LDL and HDL. LDL transports cholesterol away from our liver and HDL transports the um, cholesterol towards our liver. LDL is, uh, carries cholesterol that is used in making cell membranes, while HDL carries cholesterol that is used in making steroids. LDL can, uh, is ca sometimes considered a bad cholesterol uh, because it can drop off excess cholesterol uh, on its way to its destination, and those excess cholesterol molecules get dropped off in our arteries, which uh, uh, corresponds to clogged arteries. HDL is sometimes referred to as a good cholesterol because it comes along and it picks up any excess cholesterol that may have been dropped off in the arteries, and it returns that excess cholesterol to the liver. Steroids are a type of hormone. A hormone is a molecule that is synthesized in one part of the body and acts on a different part of the body. A steroid is, um, there are two different main types of steroids that we're gonna talk about, the female sex hormones and male sex hormones. There are two primary female sex hormones, estrogens and progestin. Progestin gets the female's body, uh, female body ready for pregnancy. Estrogens are responsible for our secondary sex characteristics and also regulating menstruation. The uh, single male sex hormone here is an androgen and that corresponds to the secondary sex characteristics of a male. The, here are um, four structures of female sex hormones. Progesterones, which again prepare the body for pregnancy, and here is the structure of progesterone. Estradiol and estrone, uh, which are both um, secondary sex characteristics, so these are examples of estrogens that uh, also regulate menstruation. And then last but not least, one that we don't talk about very often, thelol, which is a steroid that our body synthesizes during pregnancy and uses during pregnancy. The male sex hormones, testosterone, which is probably the one that people typically think of when they think about male hormones or male steroids, androsterone and dehydroepiandrosterone, ster epiandrosterone, uh, all responsible for male secondary sex characteristics. 
steroids, when the word is just used in everyday language, um, when somebody talks about using steroids or doing steroids, they are typically referring to synthetic, so that not synthesized in the body, but made in a lab, synthetic testosterone and androsterone. These substances were originally designed for medical use uh, in patients that had muscle atrophy, muscle atrophy due to some sort of medical condition. The synthetic testosterone and androsterone were used to help those patients rebuild their muscle mass. But as we all know, they um, are abused and uh, lead to situations like this right here. Last but not least, I'm going to talk about adrenal cortical steroids. Um, these are uh, natural and both synthetic substances. Cortisone and cortisol are substances that are naturally produced in our body in response to some sort of inf injury. Um, they're anti-inflammatories. Prednisone is a synthetic version of cortisone. So this is something that's made in a lab and is um, prescribed medicinally, used to treat swelling, allergic response or autoimmune response, and also organ rejection.